Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to left rotate a string by three positions. Let's say there is a string like this, and we need to left rotate this string by three positions. Left rotate this string by three positions. For example, the string, the original string is like this. And if you left rotate uh, the string by three positions, what will happen? Let me explain. So first of all, uh, we'll start with this n guys. Okay, n. If this uh, each and every character in this particular string need to be left rotated by three positions, right? So n will be moved by three positions to the left side. One, two, three. So n will be going to the first position here. Then coming to you. you uh, can move only up to two positions right you can move one two there is no third position but if there is no third position we need to add you here guys okay one two three like that so you should be added in the last position done then coming to r r also need to be moved by three positions so one two three this position okay we need to move this r to this position r will come here then finally a a also need to be moved by three positions since there are no elements before this a it is 1 2 3 a has to come here so a will be coming to this position so at the end of moving all the characters in this given string by three positions the resultant string will look like this if you give arun it will become naru okay so how to write a java program which can left rotate this particular string by three positions like this and get this output for that guys we will follow a simple approach where we will try to left rotate this string by one position first okay we will left rotate this particular string by one position in the java logic and we'll put a for loop on the top of this uh, logic to iterate three times so what happens when you when you put a for loop and uh, iterate this for loop three times three times the position will be moved right so we'll get the result so but but guys uh, how to move this uh, character by one position for that let me practically show you with the java program how to write the java code for moving this string text by characters in the string text by one position and thereafter we'll put uh, this uh, wrapper kind of for loop which will iterate the same logic three times so that the each and every character in the given string will be moved by three positions fine anyhow let's get started first of all let's create the string string str is equal to the original string is this one guys original string is arun okay now first of all we need to write the logic for left rotating this string by one position first okay later we'll write the logic for three positions for now only one position to get started what we are going to do is uh, here guys r will be r will be replacing a r will be replacing a so what happens when r will be replacing a a will be gone right for that case we'll write something like this integer first is equal to before this uh, a is gone let's save this first element of this string into this variable first variable but guys before doing that in order to get this uh, first character into this uh, care of first of like this we cannot do it right we cannot actually directly take this first character and store into the first for that we need to convert this string into a character array so before doing this line we have to convert this string into a character array so str to to char array there is a predefined command to char array which will con convert the given string text into a character array so we can store that into a uh, str ca kind of thing or ca is also fine character array okay ca name that as character array over the most create local variable here guys so once this particular string is converted into the character array it will be stored like this in the character array it will be stored each and every character will be stored separately a will be a character okay this two char array will be converting this given string text into a character array where each and every letter in this uh, given string text will be a character character element in the character array like this a r u and finally n like this now guys once we convert this uh, given string text into a character array that is ca kind of character array the elements 
in the character array will look like this there are four elements you see a is one element r is one element u is one element and n is one element four elements are there now what we can do here is uh, we will assign this first character element into this uh, char is equal to first okay we'll assign this one how to assign simply we have to say c of 0 that's it c of 0 what happens when you assign c of 0 to first this first character will be assigned to the first okay so why we are assigning this uh, one to the first because when you left rotate this particular string by one position r will be replacing a guys so a will be gone again if you want a you will not be able to get it that's the reason we are first storing this a before left rotating itself we are storing the first element into the first then we'll write the for loop for so here what we are going to do is uh, we are going to we are going to assign this value to this value the first iteration in the second iteration we are going to assign this value to this value in the third iteration of this for loop we are going to assign this value to this value uh, sorry this value to this value so previous value so that uh, this r will be moved to the left u will be moved to the left n will be moved to the left so that's the reason we are writing this for loop guys so int i is equal to 0 starting with the index 0 this first we have to replace this one with this r need to be moved to the left side int i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to the last index what is the last index guys to find the last index we have to find the size of the array int uh, size is equal to what is the size of this uh, character array ca dot length we have to say this will give the size of the array size minus one like this i am giving this is index case zero at the index is this one size minus one index is this one so we are giving i less than or equal to size minus one as per the logic then i plus plus starting with this element till the this element we are creating the for loop right the for loop will go through each and every element like that we are writing but guys there is a problem in this for loop guys that is equal symbol this equal symbol should not be written there is a problem if you write the equal symbol anyhow uh, for now we'll keep this equal symbol as it is when the time comes i'll provide the proper reason and then remove this equal symbol till then we'll put the equal reason so that our logic will be understandable starting with the index zero till the last index element we are iterating for now at later point of time i will remove this equal symbol okay i'll tell you why at later point of time now guys uh, what we have to do is we have to write the logic like this ca of i is equal to ca of i plus one why i am writing like this c of i is equal to c of i plus one i want to move these characters to the left side okay i want to move r to the left side again in the second iteration u to the left side n to the left side so that this uh, so that a left rotating of the string will happen by one position if i move this character each and every character to the left side of it then this particular string text will be moved by one position right so that's the reason we are writing like this. So if I write C A of i is equal to C of i plus one, what will happen? Let me explain. Here i is equal to zero, guys. The value of i is zero. i is zero. Zero less than or equal to size minus one. Size is four. Four minus one is three. Like this. So this condition is true. We'll go inside the for loop. So here what will happen is C of i plus one is equal to C of i. C of i means i is zero. C of zero is this one. C of one is this one. C of 0 is equal to C of 1. C of 0 is equal to C of 1. That means R will be assigned to this character. Okay, R will be replacing this A. Internally, what is going to happen, guys? R will be coming here. Because of C of i is equal to C of i plus 1, this R will be copied like this. As you can see now, the resultant array is like this after the first iteration. Now, i plus plus will happen where i will become 1. 1 less than or equal to 3. Again, true. We'll go inside the for loop and here now this time c of 1 i is 1 c of 1 is equal to c of 2 c of 1 is equal to c of 2 that means this u will be replacing this r u has moved to the left side r already has moved to the left side now u has also moved to the left side now i plus plus that means i will become 2 2 less than or equal to 3 again true we'll go inside c of 2 is equal to c of 3 i is 2 right c of 2 is equal to c of i plus one that is c of three c of two is equal to c of three that means this will also move to the left side because of this assignment now i will become three three less than or equal to three true or false yes true we'll go inside the for loop 
C A of three is equal to that means C A of three is equal to C A of four. Is there anything like four? This is C A of three. Is there anything four? No, that is not possible. That is the reason, guys. We should not be providing this equal symbol here. We have to remove this equal symbol because that will give a false kind of problem. So we cannot assign some element which is not there to the last index value, right? That is not possible. C of three is equal to C of not. C of four is not possible. C of three is this one. C of four doesn't exist. How can you assign C of four to C of three when doesn't exist? That's the reason, guys. We should not be giving equal symbol here. It should be i is equal to zero, i less than, size minus one, i plus plus. That's it. Now, if you remove this equal symbol, this condition will become false. When i becomes three, three less than three will become false and will come out of the for loop. Done. But is this uh, string completely left rotated by one position? No. R is left rotated. As you can see, R which was in the second position came to the first position. U which was in the third position came to the second position. N which was in, there in the last position came to the last but one position. But what about A? Where is A? Is A anywhere in this uh, left rotated array? String array? No. That's the reason guys, initially while writing the Java logic, we stored this uh, C of zero. Here A was already stored guys, okay? The character A was already stored into the, before left rotating this particular array, we already stored this uh, first index element, that is A into the first, because now we can simply assign like this, CA of last index is size minus one, right? This last index is size minus one is equal to, simply say this first. What will happen guys? First is holding this character A. So A will be assigned to the here. A will be assigned here. Simple. Now this character array is fully left rotated by one position. As you can see now, this is left rotated by one position. Now let's print out this uh, left rotated uh, character array in the form of a string guys. How to print this particular character array in the form of a string? There are different ways guys, but uh, the best way I feel is like, uh, let's create an object for the string buffer. String buffer class, string buffer SB is equal to new string buffer like this. This is the best, best approach, guys. String buffer, okay. Let's create an object for string buffer. And now create a for loop for each loop saying for each and every character in this character array. Each and every element in this character array is a char, right? Char data type. Each and every element, E stands for element. Or you can say C also, character. C stands for character. For each and every character in the this particular character array, this character array, iterate this for loop. And for every iteration, do one thing like this, sb dot append, call this append method, call this append method, and append this character, whatever the character is there, just append that. So how this for each loop will work? For each loop, initially sb doesn't have anything guys, okay? sb string buffer doesn't have anything. Now when you say for char c colon ca, so what will happen is, uh, each and every character from this character array. In the first iteration, R will be retrieved and stored into this C. When you append this uh, R to this SB, SB will, SB will become R, done. The second iteration, uh, this character array will retrieve this second element and store into this C. And when you append this C, this U will be, okay, the U will be coming here, done, appended. Then CA, third element. N, N will be copied here. And when you append N, it will become N. And the last one will be copied here. And when you append that, it will be like this, guys. When you move this particular string text by one position, you will get this runa, okay, runa. Fine, now uh, after uh, writing this for each loop, let's print it out, print the string buffer and see what will be the result. I'm simply printing the SP. It should print out runa, guys. Run this. See, Rona got printed because this string text got left rotated by one position only. Now, what if I want uh, this same string text to be left rotated by three positions? For that, I need to write the logic for three positions. Simple, guys. What we are going to do here is uh, we are going to put this entire logic starting from here to here. Okay, first to assigning this first. This this lines we need to put them inside a for each loop for loop for I'll provide that one minute uh, here till here, right? First, I will put that in the for loop. Here, one one more thing we need to decide, guys. How many 
positions we need to move three positions so here i will say int n is equal to 3 number of positions you want to move just store that into n now here write in the for loop int j is equal to 0 here i is already used so i am using j j is equal to 0 j less than this n guys j less than n j plus plus or you can also write j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to n this is also fine 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay both the cases are fine so this for loop will be iterated three times since this for loop is iterated three times the logic for left rotating the string by one position will be iterated three times so the string will be left rotated by three positions because of this for loop the string will be left rotated by three positions instead of one position now let's run this you should get uh, the output as uh, naru guys okay if if you get this output naru that means this particular given string is ro left rotated by three positions let's see whether we are getting that output run this see naru is printed that means the given string text is successfully left rotated by three positions with this logic so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to left rotate a string by three positions so that's it guys thank you bye